Hello, welcome back to City Planner Plays, where we're doing something a little bit different today. We're taking a deep dive into my global build-off build. As many of you know, I was sick when I was completing this challenge, and I, I wanted to showcase some of the things uh, a little bit earlier, but I figured now's as good a time as any. So, starting out, here are here's the front of the building. It is King Leno's Memphis Terminals and a massive parking lot using big parking lots. Uh, coming over to the left side of the facility, there's one more terminal, a stormwater pond, uh, some parking ramps, and lots of intersection marking tool all over this. In fact, here, I think you can see it even better. I've intersection marking the heck out of this whole build, and I've added a, met a metro terminal right in the center of this. I wanted this on the outside so you could really feel the activity, and I think it worked pretty well. Now let's get into the part you're interested in, the runways and taxiways. Now, this is a close call here, it's kind of funny. Uh, one, of, one of the things I didn't notice when I was building is how close the runway and the taxiways were. So this is something that was point out during, pointed out during the judging, is that you kind of see a little bit of clipping there. I, I, if I could change anything about the whole build, it would be that. It would be stretching out the whole airport and uh, giving a little bit more space. I tried to really mimic what was happening in San Diego, which was pointed out uh, in the comments of the first video that was posted. And this is, this is a very uh, faithful recreation of the size of the runways and taxiways in San Diego. Uh, but I, I think I could have gone a bit further on some things like the taxiway and runway separation. So now we're taking a look at the terminals and all of the aircraft stands. And what you can see is there's a lot of them. I've used Move It extensively to, to get these all in place. And one thing that I did here that's maybe not super evident is I did use Node Controller to flare out the ends of the concourse and I did and I did pull the Hong Kong Airport Control Tower into the build from the workshop and I really like the way that that particular part of the build turned out. Now let's take a look at the cargo area and I really wanted this to feel like it was really bursting to the seams with activity so I added a ton of cargo terminals and you know, this is one part where maybe I should have gone a little bit less on this, but I wanted it to have a ton of activity. I then added, uh, you can't really tell from here, but there's a, a rental car place in the back, some warehouses for storage of, of goods, fueling tanks, a bunch of helicopter depots, and then some hangars and storage. And right here, what we're seeing uh, from the, I believe it's the, the, the Sunset Harbor DLC, is, is actually the aviation club. So I wanted to work that into the build as well. Now this is something I probably spent way too much time on. This is a tourism island with assets from the airport. So if you look at the district for the airport, it actually extends over onto this island. So I had to extend the district over and then terraform afterwards. So I added these key walls. So these are all functioning airport assets helping to level up the airport, including that Sheridan Hotel. It's a, it's a really nice asset from the workshop that is actually an airport's DLC hotel. Uh, there's also a posh mall back there, a parking ramp, and all of these assets were placed by hand one by one. Uh, and I really had a lot of fun doing this, which is why I spent so much time on it, probably to the detriment of the rest of the build. And then coming over here, you can see how I've actually added onto the city, and I added a ton. Basically, everything that you're looking at, I've planned and created, and uh, you know everything from that lake right there to all of these neighborhoods, because I wanted this to feel like it was a really urban airport, and I wanted it to be integrated into the fabric of the community, which is something that, you know, when you look at the initial map, you can see that it was kind of a bunch of disparate small towns, and I think that the reason for that was so that you could build an airport and kind of model it around one of these smaller communities if you wanted to but I wanted to model it around everything. So here's where you can actually see what I've changed. This is the original version of the map that I had, and this is gonna pan over, and you can see that I have significantly added onto the city, added a roadway network that loops around the community, and uh, you know, it was a ton of fun. I had, I had a lot of fun building the airport and everything around it, and I thought it might be kinda nice to look at the exact same view at night, so we'll start out with what was built initially and then my additions and you can see that I've added on pretty dramatically to the entire community. So lots of fun doing this. But that's all just a quick overview of my global build off submission. I really hope that you enjoyed this. If you did, please hit the like button. If you aren't subscribed, uh, please consider doing so. And uh, if you haven't checked out the rest of the builds, I highly encourage you to do so over on the official City Skylines channel. Uh, thank you so much, take care. Bye-bye.